of all seasons, this is my favorite autumn. I like that kind of melancholic mood. Days become shorter and of course it's the end of, a, of another season, the end of summer. But it's the beginning of a new magical season as well because the light changes. The light will become more um, colorful. The shadows more cold, the light more warm. The shadows become longer because the sun is lower during this season. And now we don't have any sun, it's only raining. But also rain is nice. I like the sound, I like the smell. And it's more quiet on the street. Here in Holland we're not used to summer vibes actually. It's autumn throughout the year. So when it's really hot and the sun is shining, people get totally crazy. Everyone is excited. So then it's crowded in town and busy and I don't like it that much. And now you can really have a walk around uh, 6 or 7 p.m. and then you're alone with the smell of fireplaces. Yesterday I had the first lecture of the series I'm doing now and it was a lovely evening. It was lovely to meet new people and I immediately recognized the, the process I was talking about and um, I spoke I think um, around 40 minutes and then we had a break with a good glass of wine and then I did another 40 minutes and uh, during this break I had a conversation with a few people and we spoke about our way to get into the right mood that mood where the unconsciousness can do its work. Um, some of them had seen me staring out of my window, my videos, and uh, I spoke about that in this other video, the previous video. Um, and someone yesterday told me about a painter who starts painting after playing with two balls in his hand, and he plays and he plays and then he falls asleep and the balls fall in, a, in, in something that make a, a hard sound when it falls and then he awakes and then he can start painting. People had a lot of questions yesterday night and I liked it because it made me think about a lot. Um, when I was driving home after the lecture I thought about um, my commissioned work and my own work and um, I told them yesterday night that uh, the people who want a painting, a commissioned painting of me, they, they will find me on the web or in the gallery, so they, they know my style and the paintings I make. And then when I make something for them, they expect, of course, a painting like they see it on, in the gallery of mine. And I'm totally all right with that. Um, but that means that I'm not really able to experiment a lot on those commission paintings. Um, but I don't mind. I think I work more than a half on commission paintings and less than a half on in my own work. And in my own work I can experiment, of course. And I think there I learned maybe the most, I think. I'm not sure, but I think so. Um, because I'm totally free. Um, but of course the things that I learn in my own work are brought as well to the commissioned work. I use all these knowledge and skills that I find in my own work. I can say all these pa paintings are totally honest, although I don't experiment a lot, but it's, it's a more a safe way of working so that you can deliver paintings that people know from you. And they will de this style will develop as well also. Uh, the paintings I'm making now are quite different than five years ago, no doubt. Also my commission paintings. <laughs> Thank you.
And it still depends on the kind of client, of course. When you meet someone who is open-minded and um, someone who let you totally free to do it, and yeah, then it can be an interesting commission. And um, then you are sometimes so surprised by the kind of painting that you made, and you would never have made without these clients because you was, weren't able to find these kind of subjects, for example.
It's Thursday already, and I just brought my uh, oldest son to school. He didn't feel like going to school, he was in a bad mood. He felt sick without being sick, you know. I think sometimes he's struggling with the system. So I feel a bit sad that I left him there. Sometimes we have conversations about uh, this system and rules uh, because I recognize something in this struggle that he sometimes has. Um, it's not that I want to, f to be free. Or, well, I want to be free, but it's not freedom, freedom for me is not that uh, I, I can do what I like and I can work whenever I like. And, not work whenever I like. But I want to feel free and to find my qualities, to show my qualities, to find my way, um, and to focus on all the things that are important to do this and to develop myself and my, my skills. And as long as I feel happy with this and I see that clients are really happy with the things I sell, then work is going well, things are going well. Um, but I see friends of mine sometimes who are really struggling with the system in a, at a company where they are working. And um, I think how, how bigger a group or a company grows, the more control um, is needed. And when you are working only with four or five people together and you know each other really well and work can feel like your local pub where you are just hanging around with your friends and you know each other so well that you can know from each other what your qualities are, then you just can do the things. Well, it goes on itself, you know. But the more people work for this job the more control you need as a manager to take care that everything is going well if you know what I mean and this is something that I really struggled with in a few jobs I had before I started my own business because I can say that I'm very very sensitive for what a manager wanted me to do um, and of course managers want you to do things you are maybe quite good at but not the things you are very good at so you aren't able then to to show your yourself at your best and then discipline becomes some kind of target um, the main target and uh, the real work that you have to do becomes lifeless you don't feel any spirit in it and I think this is the reason that uh, you f can feel really really sick like my son uh, this morning when I left him at school I think well my dream is that the world change changes and um, people can are, are able to work with their own spirit with their energy and everyone can show him or herself in a pure way but I know it is impossible because um, we need rules and we need control uh, but for me it's 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 almost impossible to uh, adapt myself to this target so for me this is a, one of the motivations to work really hard uh, here on my own um, and I don't forget that that I have my system as well my discipline and, and my working hours and um, but I can see it as a, as a joyful and a useful tool discipline and, and my rules and if 
I've, when I feel that it's better to change these rules, then I can do it immediately, you know. Even for people who are working for themselves and who are trying to rely on creativity, uh, you always feel a certain fear because you are uncertain about the result. You don't know if things will work out and if you are working, um, you will be surprised, but you will be disappointed as well. So that uh, asks not only faith, but also time. So a system is beautiful. It's beautiful to look at, to see. But for me to feel captured in the system, and I think for everyone, is a bit dangerous. But I like to see it. Maybe that is one of the uh, reasons why I like the, 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 to make f the paintings of the fanfare. It's a system. It's a rhythm. All the same people on their own place, walking together in the same clothes, uniforms. It's beautiful. Oh man, but I'm so lucky that I don't have to walk together with them and I just can look at it. You go to falls to know who you are There's so much more than ask someone to be near Is there a place where we can lay down Whispering without fear Wishing it all away I don't give it a name Give it a safe place for you You came by cause there was something You don't know where to stop or start So please, love, dream your fear away And I would pay all to know what you think All you say to me I give it a say It's a week of sketches. I'm drawing compositions to show the clients how I would like to show their house in a painting. Um, I used the best paper for these sketches because I'm used to this paper. But then I used a 
front and the rear sides, both sides of the paper. Because most of these sketches will disappear somewhere in the dustbin. Um, the sketches I make on location in the garden, they will always go to the client as well. They want to keep it. There's a certain magic around these sketches. But the sketches made by myself just alone, uh, they will disappear. But there's a lot to do. Um, two houses must be painted before December, so next month. So I will start today with this one. This is going to be a, a larger one, I think this size. Um, and then we have one, and then two, three. This was the house in the video where I walked through this garden and I told about the house where I used to play as a kid. It's in the town where, of in the village where I grew up. That's three, four, five. I have to finish this sketch today. Uh, Back the other side, six. Six house portraits of beautiful houses. The people living in ugly houses, they never ask me to paint it. Lucky me.
Wat heb je in Groningen ook alweer voor een zaak dan in de stad? Ja, dat was Vlokstra. En uh... Je had een hele, hele goedkope ja. lijst te maken daar, hè? Beter. Ja, maar zit hij er niet meer? Nee, doet het niet meer. En de Richard Bosse. Ja, die zit op de oude kracht waarschijnlijk ook. Ja, Ze die, die uh, en, uh, hij is directeur geloof ik. Oké. Okay. Voor Gerstek in Nederland. Oh ja? Ja. Leuke plek. Dit is toch heerlijk? Hier zit ik al 25 jaar, hè? Ja, mooi man. 25 jaar niet opgeruimd. Around six sketches to work out, starting from next week. Actually, I've got seven sketches, but I don't know where the seventh is, somewhere here in the studio. Um, well, I will find it on my phone, because I always take a picture and then I send this to the client. So I can find it on my phone, but I don't know where the, the physical sketch is. Maybe at the other side of a painting. Because... Um, I told you earlier that I never, no, I told you that I want to feel free to throw away my work or destroy it or whatever. And I feel free to do that, but I never 
did it. Honestly. Uh, I still feel free to do it. I won't get angry. I don't... I won't be upset, but... Um, I think I never threw anything away so far. Uh, but when a painting is not good enough, I use the other side. So there will be some people having two paintings of mine instead of one, and they don't know it. When they open the frame, they will maybe find another painting. Um, I was busy this week, busy with the lectures, of course. They ask some attention and time. Uh, I had this lecture Tuesday night, and then we'll have one this weekend. And next week I will have a lecture, lecture in a beautiful building here in the center. An old building where the painters met in the old days. Painters like Vincent van Gogh, Van Gogh. He went there for a drink. So you can imagine that the vibes are still very good there for a lecture. Um, but there was a lot... Uh, on this location today to organize uh, some things and uh, well there wasn't any time left this week for a painting only sketching thank you again for uh, joining me in my thoughts work and uh, enjoy your weekend and uh, thank you again for all those lovely comments under the videos and uh, see you next week <laughs>